Hey guys, Luke here with the Catfish and Carp YouTube channel. I got my ombre Tommy here. And uh, we're gonna show you what's in my garage. Now, for those of you who follow my channel, you will know that three weeks ago, my garage looked like this. It's like this all the time. But I have spent the last three weeks cleaning this thing now look at the glory. Woo! Look at this. Oh, it took one massive yard sale, three Saturdays and multiple evenings, but look at this. So uh, let me give you a tour of my garage, okay? So first off, here's my boat. A couple years ago, I did a video about how to buy a cheap boat. I got this motor, boat, and trailer for 800 bucks. Um, because it wasn't titled I, and uh, I went through the, the legal process to get it titled and uh, it's a great way to get a very cheap boat but since I did that video a lot of you guys have been wondering about you know updates what, what I've been doing with the boat so uh, you can see here I've got some put some of these uh, monster rod holders on it and uh, I screwed up the outboard okay I had a 9.8 horsepower mercury like a 1983 mercury that came with the boat worked great um but i let ethanol sit in it for too long it was one of those things where i didn't winterize it but i was like oh, i'm gonna use it in a week then a week became two then three then then eight months and <laughs> so when i when i uh it wouldn't start because all the gummed up ethanol and i tried to fix the carburetor on my own and ended up breaking the carburetor venturi and i just like screw it you know i'm, I'm out so I went and got myself a new 9.9 .9 Yamaha four-stroke, and this thing's awesome. No mixed fuel, uh, just easy start. It just it works like a dream. This thing hauls butt. A um, little 9.9 .9 probably gets me 20 miles per hour on this boat. And what do you think, Tommy? You like the boat? Yeah, but guess what, guys? What? We put stickers over it. Yeah, so we put stickers. Like, for a long time I was thinking I was going to paint the boat, but then I realized it took me like years to finally clean my garage so the painting of the boat's never happening. But uh, we, uh, Tommy was very excited to put some uh, decals on our boat. So uh, we got, uh, we got some decals. Was, uh, <laughs> I have a big pile of stickers that people have given me over the years and we just went with it. <laughs> So I've got these little uh, whisker stick rods, which are tiny versions of the whisker seeker rods I use on my big boat. And uh, we go fishing for channel cats and carp and stuff with those, and the boys really like it. They like the smaller rods. In case you didn't know, I actually have two YouTube channels. The other one's the Outdoor Boys YouTube channel. And I do forging videos, axe restoration videos, goofy videos, all sorts of stuff. There's the spear I forged last winter. This is a three foot long hog splitter meat cleaver, bunch of axes that I made or restored. And uh, check this out. I bought this in Japan a couple weeks ago. Look at that, that's a Japanese hatchet. But you can see also here, I've got a bunch of axes yet to restore. So I've got a double bit ax, I've got a, a, a hewing axe right there, a couple hatchets, this little thingamajiggy. Uh, oh, this one's lovely. Look at the maker's mark on that. Um, yeah, I've got this thing too, which doesn't re really need restoration, but needs a handle. My wood pile. Got some gorgeous wood back there. I haven't just been getting stuff off the floor and going through all my tackle boxes and arranging stuff and getting everything organized. So I've got my carp bag with all my carp gear, my fly fishing bag with all my fly fishing gear. Just organizing all my tackle boxes took forever. Check out my fly box. Look at that. Finally got that organized. Woo. Went on Amazon and bought a bunch of these little ring binder rings. Just take all of my, my loose tackle and put it right on like that. It's just awesome. Just it's, it's such a game changer for me. Got my big four leaf clover bluegill trap. I did a video on how to make those. Got a bunch of crab pots and hand pots. Got my uh, fighting harnesses for, for big game fishing. 
those bins are just carp bait those two big bins um more carp bait carp gear keep nets that's just a pile of keep nets camera equipment and then lots of odds and ends this is all lures back there rod holders this is my go bag for fishing on the boat it's got everything for cat fishing on the boat this is my bass fishing bag yes i do bass fish from time to time uh that's just line i got a whole basket for bobbers this is my carp rigs in here i've got a couple rig wallets over here are all the fishing rods so these are the rods kind of miscellaneous rods i use i got my carp fishing set up here got some crappie rods some uh this is my brand new cat fishing lure rod that i got in japan um over here this is all of my chinese and japanese uh telescoping poles these are no real poles for carp fishing and bluegill and stuff like that there's probably a dozen poles in there more poles and fly rods there's a few surf rods up there got my rod cases up here pier net for saltwater fishing uh, i've got some tiger rods back there got a whole bunch of travel rods back there there's some st croix back there um, this is brand new this is my brand new daiwa bag i got in japan really digging on this my nash scopes are back there and some landing nets carp landing nets my gyonji collection my traditional korean fishing rod doc demons and kitty poles i got a bundle of miscellaneous light action rods some pikachu rods and some other things rod holders and then i've got a big thing of rods that i need to give away this year uh, i just don't even use these these are a bunch of catfishing rods i think there's uh team catfish uh, meat hunter a denali then i've got my whisker seeker set up this is my my low current still water setup for catfish and then over here are my heavy action rods for big rivers or when i'm throwing big leads i use this set when i'm fishing still water and using like three ounces of lead i use this set and then there's kind of some miscellaneous rods in there got the the heavy action whisker seekers i got uh, the Okuma Battle Cat. I've got one of Chris Flores' flathead Ed rods in there. Uh, back there is my carp fishing seat, my, my chair, my wheelbarrow for carp fishing. This That cooler back there is all my shark fishing gear. So when I go off the beach shark fishing, um, that's, that's where I keep all my, my big tackle, my two pound leads, my uh, nine knot pen senators and all that stuff. Uh, miscellaneous tools carp bait some more carp bait here yeah this is my uh this is my go bag this is where we keep all the the boys snacks their rain gear lights uh little odds and ends things that you always need to bring with you whenever you go fishing so just keep this in this bag and when it's time to go we just throw it in the boat and over here is my workstation for the outdoor boys video so I've got all my forging equipment in there and tools in there, Dremels, leather working stuff. That's just sandpaper. My safety stuff up there. The boys' winter clothes and my car hearts and stuff. The garage hasn't been this clean in six years. I bought it six years ago. <laughs> so this has been amazing. It's just everything's so much easier to get to but there's a reason why i haven't cleaned it until today because it took three weeks and i don't know when the last time i had three weeks to spend on a project the only reason i was able to do this is because i took five weeks off from the law firm to go go travel the world and film so i've got so much video left over i don't i don't need to shoot any new video for a couple months and so it's bought us a little time to work on some a much needed projects but at any rate i also have found a lot of things that i need to give away so i mentioned earlier i need to give away some rods got a big bag of odds and ends i've got some throwing daggers in here some uh, whisker sequel or er, rattles and tackle some flint and steel i think i even have a hip flask uh, somebody gave me 
a hip flask uh, and a, a bottle cap opener. And uh, I, I'm not much of a drinker, so neither one of those things have gotten any use. So, And uh, thanks for watching, guys. And uh, as always, we put out new videos every Saturday, so don't forget to click subscribe. And check out our other channel, the Outdoor Boys YouTube channel. I'll put a link in the description. Thanks for watching.